yo man I just have to do this video for real I have to there's no other my hair is all fucked up and shit I'm about to take a shower but I got orange peels on my lip but I gotta make this shit listen I love hip hop I got hip hop tatted on my neck I love it been listening to it fucking forever. The first time I heard rap was when I was like fucking four or five years old listening to uh, Puff Daddy's No Way Out. I was born in 87, by the way. So let me tell you something. Regardless of anything of me being an Eminem fan, because I'm an Eminem fan, uh, Nick Cannon is the fucking worst rapper I've ever heard that actually tried to get on a beat and rap now is he the worst rapper of all time probably not there's probably more whack motherfuckers out there but as far as a guy who has the capabilities of putting himself on a platform like a world star he is the worst fucking rapper I've ever heard like this motherfucker is off beat like it's been a long time since I heard a rapper going to a studio Record something, have it mixed, have it mastered, and he's rapping off beat. <laughs> yo, yo, I don't understand how this happens. Like, I understand he got his show and everything, and, and you know the, they do the freestyles at the end, the this and the shit. That's cool and everything, but when it comes to a song, this guy recorded, wrote it down. The lyrics are whack, by the way, but just the performance of it, and then he fucking. Makes a music video and he has other people around him who float on the beat. I can't lie. Everybody else besides him float on the beat. We're talking about, I'm just going to point this out real quick. Nick Cannon was off beat. Off beat. How do you, how are you off beat? <laughs> what happened? Teta. You have to do caca? Teta. No, you want that though. Give me one second. I just got to explain how, yo, this is, yo, you're so whack. My son's asking for a bottle, and I have to tell him to wait, because this shit is garbage. I've never seen that. Yo, the minute, we're two bars in, when he talks about Joe, like, retaliation, that, that was offbeat. And, <laughs> how is this about, and then the rhymes was garbage. Elvis Pussley. I don't get it. I feel, yo, it's weird because Nick Cannon is a fucking cornball. Like, you you could tell. Like, when you ever see him in an interview, you could tell he's that guy who never fit in to no, to nowhere. Like, this dude, he just posted a video on Instagram where he's in Atlanta. You're not from Atlanta. You're at a, a, show, a fucking taping of your show, which, you know, granted, that's cool. He has a TV show. That's, that's what's up. Like, I don't watch it, but I've seen a few episodes, and I think they were all right back, back in the day because that's just been running forever. But, Jesus Christ, man, this motherfucker is the worst rapper who has the means of putting a music video together and getting it on World Star. The worst. I'd rather hear somebody auto tuning the shit out of it and saying that it was rap than to hear this guy doing what he did. And then to be made, then to put it as an Eminem this. And then the levels of Cornball. He gets Suge Knight on the fucking track like that means anything. Suge Knight's life is over because he's a fucking idiot. And then at the end of the video, Suge Knight's like, yeah, man, if you a rapper, you can't have cops. You got to be able to handle your situation one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you, guy who's going to walk out of prison when he's if he's lucky in his late 70s. You, yo, like, I don't, like, <laughs> do they know what Eminem is? Like, Eminem is in a special bracket of artists. Just like Taylor Swift. Just like a fucking, who else is fucking, like a Beyonce. These aren't normal people. They These people can't walk into fucking Walmart or Target. Nick Cannon can fucking walk into Walmart and make his own sandwich. Nobody would give a fuck. These type of artists are fucking superstars. They pack out stadiums. Nick Cannon can't... Yo, Nick Cannon couldn't fucking sell out 200 tickets to a rap show of his if he is fucking life dependent on it. <laughs> Like, like, these are stupid stars. They're not going to be walking around with no security. That's retarded. But, Shug Knight's a fucking idiot, number one. His fucking, just to get him on that, like, and then they can't think, like, he thinks it's worthy enough to put on the track, like, oh, shit, we got Shug. 
the guy who was fucking popular like 25 years ago and let it all fucking boil to shit and, and it's all over now. <sighs> I don't get, but it just shows how much of a fucking cornball he is. Like, I'm not sure what he's trying to do, but yo, this is literally not even because I'm an Eminem fan. Fuck that shit. Because MGK. I like the first verse of his diss towards Eminem. I thought that was really fucking good. I could fucking call it. I like Kill Shot better because I like Kill Shot in its entirety. But MGK, when that first verse hit, I was like, oh shit, he's doing it. And then the second verse, third verse, fourth verse. Blah, blah, blah. But it was all right. It was okay. I respected him because he, he jumped into the back. Who else did a good Eminem diss before? Not that many people diss Eminem, though. See, that's the problem. If there was more people... I'm sure it would be, but not a lot of people really diss him back. They really don't. Um, a lot of people just back out of it. I don't know why, but they do. So I can't really call it. But MGK's first verse, really fucking good. And that canon, yo, this guy gets no respect for recording that, for making a music video to that, for putting it out, for promoting it. Like, yo, dog, who is around you? They're not your friends.